Hi and welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled The Worst Supplement in Longevity, Science, that was produced by the YouTube channel Thomas DeLauer is 15 minutes and 14 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and just look at the key points. Let's get rid of all the crap. Thomas begins by addressing the growing interest in longevity and how it tends to lead to bizarre and questionable information, particularly now regarding zombie cells, which he says are overhyped in longevity science. Senescent or zombie cells are cells that have limited replication abilities and increase in abundance in our bodies as we age. And they secrete inflammatory molecules called SASPs, contributing to poor longevity and early aging. Thomas explains about the decrease in cellular energy and regeneration as we age, which leads to more inflammation, which we know is one of the hallmarks of aging. He suggests trying supplements like nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN, to help with cellular energy and also with cellular regeneration. He goes on to say that senescent cells are critical for wound healing and also muscle repair. So not all zombie cells are bad, but this is really only when we're young and we're still in the growing phase. He then references a number of studies showing their roles in these processes and the potential use of senolytics to eliminate senescent or zombie cells. He then discusses the differences between men and women in cell regeneration and also in healing, referencing another study on a molecule called P16 that's associated with lung healing. Thomas identifies three natural compounds that do act as senolytics, compounds like ginkgo biloba and periplosin, suggesting their potential resurgence in the near future due to some very positive recent studies. Thomas then talks about the benefits of oleandrin derived from the toxic oleander plant and recommends a dosage along the same lines as compounds like quercetin and curcumin. Now I watched this video twice in full to see what the worst supplement in longevity was that makes you age faster and he never mentioned it at all. So both the title and the thumbnail here in my humble opinion were clickbait. The information that I praised here was good but the rest of the video was just superfluous waffle. And it's a shame now that his team has resorted to misleading titles and thumbnails in a way to garner more views. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the supplements that he did mention, such as quercetin and NMN, look at my supplement stack in the description below. Each item has a link to a far more detailed video. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier to buy these supplements from, like quercetin and NMN, please check out the big three, Renew by Science, Do Not Age, and Pro Health Longevity. And if you do buy from one of these companies, please feel free to use my code MYNMN at checkout to get between 10 and 15% off. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Let me know what you think of my condensed just the facts type video summaries. And if you'd like me to cover another longevity related video that looks like it might be good, but also looks like in all honesty might be too long, let me know the title of that video in the comments section below. 